Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, all those things. So this is a 2022 Ford F-350 Long Bed Dually. And it is in for a lot. There was a wrap on the bed, just on the sides, not the back or the doors here. So there was a wrap back there, so I gotta remove the uh, residue, the boogery residue from the bed sides, and then I will be polishing the aluminum wheels, ceramic coating them with Elite Master Coat Pro Fast 5, and then I'll be doing a two-step correction on this thing because it's pretty hammered. Let me walk you around it and show you what's going on. After I polish the paint, I'll be applying my Elite Master Coat Pro Fast 5 ceramic on all of the paint and the trim and the windows, all of that. So let's check it out. So I just did a quick waterless wash, wipe down with infinite use detail juice, which is what it is in that bottle because you couldn't really see all this nasty residue before I did that. So now you can see where the uh, wrap was. All this residue here. So he wants all that removed. So that's what I'm about to start working on right now is getting this all knocked out. And then I'll probably get the wheels done as well today. But those are the wheels, look pretty decent. Need to be polished, that's the plan. So I'm gonna get the wheels polished and everything. It, unfortunately, it's gonna have to sit outside here tonight because it's just too big to fit in here. So um, he said it's fine and blah, blah, blah. Plus, as you guys know, I have cameras everywhere. So there's camera there, there's camera there, there's camera down there, there's two cameras on that side, there's a camera around back. And I've got cameras inside, uh, on both sides of both the rooms. You can see them here, you can see them here. Cameras everywhere, so good to go. Motion detection, alerts, everything. So every year safe if you're sitting outside my shop for sure. Um, so he's got some dents and stuff. He hasn't decided whether or not he wants to sell it or what he wants to do with it, but he wants to make it pretty and then he'll make that decision. So um, it does have a lift on it. Uh, I don't know how big a lift it is. I'm gonna touch up this little black spot. Um, the bumpers were wrapped in black vinyl. He wants to leave those. He doesn't want me to touch them other than cleaning them, but here's the wheels. So wheels are gonna get polished with smart finish because it's freaking awesome on metal. Got that bird shit right there we gotta get off. But you can see just the residue and general yuckiness that's on this thing. So like I said, you can see the other side better. So today, because I have it today and tomorrow, I'm gonna get the residue off today and then I'm gonna get the wheels polished and coated today. Um, tomorrow when I come back, I'll work on the paint and all of the other stuff. Um, he did not mention anything on the interior, so I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to do anything on the interior, so. But there you go. You see what I'm working on now, and I'll bring you back tomorrow when I get started on the paint. I'll do some 50-50s and stuff so you can see what's going on. All right, guys. I'll bring you back when I got something done. All right, boys and girls, I'm back at it. Day two. Yesterday, all I was able to get done is get the residue off the bed sides, but so you can see just all I've done is one step of polishing with uh, Dr. Jekyll so far. This stuff is amazing for cut and it fills a good amount too. It's really, really awesome. It is step one of two in the, well, one of three in the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde system. So this is the compounding portion you can see 
that's before super hazy and very scratched up now it's still kind of scratched up because this thing is hammered as you can see it's a work truck it's a concrete uh company's work truck so see all those scratches so looks super amazing on this side of the tape so i'm going to keep cranking with that and then i'll hit it with uh mr hyde uh afterwards um i used my little the AC Delco job. I'm going to grab the Milwaukee because this thing just doesn't have the power I need. Um, I had to use a little rotary down there. He had some vinyl decals that said some words down there and I had to use the rotary to basically cut it level so that you can't see the words anymore. Because it's got a little bit of sun fade, but I got it fixed. You can't see it. All right. I'm not going to waste any time. This thing is big and black so i gotta get get to work he's picking it up this afternoon so i gotta polish these wheels get them coated i still gotta finish compounding then polish then uh coat this whole truck so lots of work to do i'll catch you back in a bit all right i just want to show you i got the roof all polished up and coated i'm about to jump down and get the rest done i just wanted to show you the hood after i compounded it you can see all these water spots and how bad it looks over here and how glossy it looks over there looks great moving right along all right this big black beast is done um so two steps of correction it is nowhere near perfect it was stupid hammered when it got here but it looks really awesome now i polished the wheels with smart finish and i coated them with fast five elite master coat pro fast five which is the same coating i used on all the paint the glass and the trim i didn't do anything with the bumpers other than wash them because they're vinyl wrapped uh, i did hand polish all the chrome you notice that looks nice uh, the tops of the headlights had some yellowing i got rid of that Hand polished all this chrome, hand polished the running boards, even though they're pretty gross. Um, hand polished the door handles. I polished and coated the roof, as I showed you earlier. The bed had wrap residue all over it. You can see it does not have any on it now. <laughs> I spent a lot of good time making sure this thing looks amazing. No wrap residue. All of that is love bug damage, unfortunately. Nothing that be, can be done. Wheels, again, machine polished. Well, I used a drill. I guess that's a machine. I dressed the tires with Dress to Impress, diluted 50-50. I got in there and wiped out all the, the uh, fender wells and stuff. He's got some LED rock lights in there. I cleaned the lenses and made sure those look good. tailgate looks amazing that rear bumper again is vinyl wrapped again on the passenger side no wrap residue anywhere I got all that off this is actually missing paint in there all the weirdness you see in there that's actually paint that's gone i it took me a minute to figure that one out We've got fender wheels again he's got a rock light that's falling down wheels look amazing i mean they definitely are pitted and all of that but they look good now so as i mentioned i polished with a two-step situation I cut with Dr. Jekyll, I finished with Mr. Hyde, and then I followed those polishes with the Elite Master Coat Pro Fast 5. The benefit to the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde system is that it's filling while it's correcting. So you're getting some real serious correction, but what it doesn't correct, it fills a lot of that situation with 
essentially more it's it's not clear coat it's more like a coating uh which is what is left behind but it is uh essentially clear coat we're leaving behind it's uh a modified version but that's that's what's in the dr jekyll and mr hyde polishes because dr jekyll like i mentioned that well that i've said before is a compound mr hyde is an all-in-one polish i did put some universal black in that area nothing fancy there but there was also a spot right there so i went ahead and coated those with a little bit of black but there you go she looks amazing if you got any questions for me or you'd like to book a detail 813-846-4406 i also paint do body work metal fabrication all kinds of different things here at infinity custom works check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what i got going on if you need me let me know i can't help you if you don't reach out check out detailjuice.com for all your detailing product needs thank you guys for watching have a great day